okay so in the last video we had a look at how to create the upload form and actually upload files to our application but right now our application doesn't have much security features so in this video let's try to add some security to it we're going to um, limit what type of files a user can upload to our application and the size of the file itself okay so head over to um, the files controller which lives in app HTTP controllers and open it so here we are I'll scroll down to the handle upload um, function or action and in there is where we're going to modify this um, logic a little bit to take care of the validation so first right after you have um, selected the file in here um, we're going to define a variable which is an array of um, allowed file types okay so we're going to say allowed file types and yet again um, that is going to be equal to something that we store in the config if you remember in the, um, the last video we made use of the config like this so we're going to store the allowed file types in the config as well so let's um, retrieve them first then we're going to set them in the config so they're going to be in app um, config file dot allowed file types okay so next what we're going to do is create another variable which is uh, max file size so max file size and that is equal to um, yet again config uh, let's say app dot max file size okay so next um, let's create a rules variable which is going to be the rules that we're going to use to validate well if you had looked at my um, other Laravel series you will see that um, we have to create a config rule to validate requests which are coming into a controller action so let's create a rule and the rule will be stored in a variable called rules and um, it's going to be an array with um, key properties for each um, property we want to validate in this request here so since we know that um, the request has one property which we need which is called file we're going to give a key of file and the values will be um, the validations themselves so we're going to say required so the file is required in that um, anytime uh, we submit to this um, action here and next we're going to say uh, mimes and give it a colon here so basically we want to say which mime types we allow for um, this file here so we're going to concatenate allowed file types at the end of that so let's we'll say allowed file types and do a dot give a string as well so next what we want to do is set um, the max size of that file so let's say max and then give a, a colon here and then concatenate max file size so max file size and then give a semicolon to um well actually we don't need a semicolon since it's an array this is where the semicolon needs to be in so next what we need to do is if you use laravel um controllers you will notice that this validate function lives inside of controller here so you can call it uh, without doing any special thing like this so this validate and what do we want to validate is the request so we pass in request as the first argument and then next we will have to pass in the validation rules in this case it um, lives in the variable rules and that's all we need to do so if this validation doesn't pass this function here is going to show up an exception so it will redirect us back to um, the page that we came from and in this case is the um, upload page which we have created here so we can display any errors which occurred or if it didn't um, show up any errors that means the validation passed so it can go ahead and store the file and then proceed as expected okay so now that we have written the logic for the validation let's go to our config um app.php file and actually write up those um keys that we have used up in here like these two keys allowed file types and mac files si file size okay so let's um, go up here and say allowed file types so that's a key and the value will be a string with a comma separated list of the files that we want to allow so jpeg jpg and um, jpeg which is another jpeg type and um, bmp which is an image type and png and let's just say pdf so um, non-image files as well we can test that and next let's add a um, max file size so max file size that's the key and the value for that will be um, two megabytes so um, when you're using the sessions class um, any thousands value that you pass in here will be interpreted as a megabyte so if we had passed in a thousand here so basically um, sorry not the sessions class but when you're doing validation of files any um, value that you pass in here let's say you pass in a thousand um, 
that will be interpreted as one megabyte so a thousand divided by a thousand is one if you want to validate that you want a max size of three megabytes you have to pass in three thousand here okay so since we want to do that dynamically by taking it um, from our config file that's why we're concatenating this here so max file size in this case will evaluate to whatever we put here so since we want our application to have a max um, file size of two megabytes we can put two thousand here okay so to make that easier for you just say a thousand times two okay it's all the same